you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a crazy lineup update for you guys. So as you guys know, I had a lot of coins. I had like 2.5 million coins. I bought quite a few players. I don't know who I'm gonna be keeping. I'm gonna rock with them in weekend league this weekend. Kind of get a feel for who I want to keep, who I don't want to keep, who I would rather get in most feared. Certain positions like tight end, I feel like I'll be able to get a fair better in most feared. Certain things I feel like the mud heroes fill, like Saquon Barkley for me. But I'll be going over all that in the video, guys. I'm gonna show you guys my guys in the binder one by one, and then when I'm done with the positions, I'll show you guys the overall team. I'm gonna go over kind of what I want to do with the team, and you guys can comment down below and give me some help and advice on what I should be working the team around and what I should really wait for, guys. So make sure to stay tuned to help me out with all that. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. We are so close to 10k, 200 subscribers away. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, and if you haven't already, guys, comment down below, say what's up, and then make sure to comment later in the video and help me out with my team. And let's get let's get the video to 150 likes for the lineup update. All the loyal supporters, make sure to smash that like button, boys. Appreciate every one of you guys who hit that like button and come and watch every single day. Even if you don't hit the like button, I still appreciate you guys. But, guys, that's about it. Let's head into the video. Let's head over to the binder. All right, guys, we're starting our quarterback. We got Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick still. No switches have been made here. I've been contemplating getting the full Michael Vick or just rocking with Lamar Jackson. I did a poll over on Twitter, and you guys pretty much voted that Lamar Jackson takes the cake on that one. So, I think what I'll do is I'll keep Lamar for now and wait for the next great quarterback, see what most fear brings. Maybe most fear brings another Lamar Jackson. Who knows? We're going to wait on that and see. But for the time being, I'll rock with Lamar Jackson. He gets the job done. John Madden passing, all the passing stuff I got in him. His stats are pretty good. Great speed. Kills people online with the rushing game. Seven over to halfback real quick. At halfback, we got Saquon Barkley and Mark Sallon. Guys, both of them as a tandem is, is ridiculous. So, like, Saquon gets tired and comes out. And the other guy's like, oh, good. Saquon's out. And then Mark Sallon just bursts in the middle on an inside zone 30-yard run. I have double evasive in the backfield, guys. It's been pretty awesome. Because... If I do like if I do I do a uh, gun split close out of the Patriots playbook, so when Saquon does like an angle out of the backfield, they key on Saquon and then Mark Sounds open in the flats, I throw it to him. And then I just do I can evasive them too with him. Trust me, it's overpowered having two running backs like that. I don't know if I'd recommend it. I just happen to have it, so I don't think I don't think I want to power him down since I have it already. But Saquon's a beast, guys. I will be getting you guys a Saquon gameplay within the next few days or so. I do have a Deion Sanders type like regular gameplay for you guys coming tomorrow. And then the Saquon one, I'll see as time goes, because I was trying to record a Saquon and ended up being a Dion one. But next position, we got Corey Schlesinger. If you guys have not seen the crazy play he did, go over to Twitter. Go drop a follow over there and go check out the video I posted. Corey Schlesinger got a kick return touchdown for me yesterday after trucking down and juking out like seven people. He's a monster, guys. Scum, he, doesn't, he does not take scum kicks. He does not. He returns those to the house. Wide receiver, we've got Torrey Holt, Randy Moss, DeAndre Hopkins. As you guys know, I really don't change my wide receivers and Tyreek Hill. I don't even use DeAndre anymore. I literally use Tyreek Hill, Randy Moss, Torrey Holt. My wide receivers definitely need an upgrade, but I've not seen any wide receivers worth upgrading to for my coin count and what I prefer to do. I've been waiting for some crazy new wide receiver cards. So when those comes, I'll make the uh, adjustments. Waiting for most fear, we usually get some really fast cards. Waiting for like a new most fear Tyreek Hill or something. But until then, I'll keep my wide receivers the way they are. Remember, comment down below what you guys think I should do with all these positions and any advice you guys have. At tight end, we got Greg Olson and George Kittle. Now, these are positions where I think I'm going to make a switch. So, I got George Kittle and Greg, um, Greg Olson. I think I'm going to keep Kittle because he's faster, has better strength, and can run block better. And then, I'll probably end up selling Greg Olson because that run blocking is big for me. I do run the ball quite a bit, and Greg Olson does still go for a little over 200K. So, I'll wait for most fear for the next great tight end in that, in that uh, promo. I'm going to go over the lineman pretty quickly because it's just lineman. Joe Staley, got to definitely upgrade him. Bruce Matthews, solid guy. I can keep him there. Center, Mitch Morris, probably going to sell him. I don't really like him too much. He's okay. But I'll sell him off for like 160k and wait for the next center that I want or get Kevin Mawai. Right guard, we picked up David DeCastro. He's a beast, guys. If you don't have him, pick him up. He has all 90 stats across the board, chemmed up. If you powered him up or anything, he'd be even higher than that. This card's a beast. Best right guard in the game. And then at right tackle, we got Lane Johnson. Definitely needs to upgrade here at some point, but he gets the job done. He doesn't hurt me in any way. He's kind of like a very steady, steady right tackle. Left end, we got Cameron Jordan and Demarcus Lawrence. Obviously, I don't really like Cameron Jordan that much. Like, he plays good for me. But the thing about Cameron Jordan is he was a free card. But powered up, he still gets the block shit uh, threshold. He gets the power move threshold. His play rec's crazy high. This card is insane, to be quite honest with you guys. It's just not my preferred end. I don't like, like the fact that I have two nat left ends. But I'm saving Lawrence. And uh, I have Lawrence at defensive tackle right now. So that's kind of where he's getting the job done. Which you guys will see in a second when you see that. I don't have defensive tackles. So at right end, I got Aaron Donald. And the thing that sucks about Aaron Donald, although I love him, is that I really want to upgrade him to his next great card. But unfortunately, he did just get a limited time card, which means that I'm going to have to wait until Series 3 to get his Redux version. 
so that I can actually get the 93 Aaron Donald powered up. So I'm gonna have to wait a while. So he's gonna be sitting there at his 90 overall, which I did was able to power up a little bit because he did get the higher card. At defensive tackle, like I said, we got Michael Pierce and Quentin Williams, but we really just used the Marcus Lawrence there with his abilities activated. I don't really like playing guys out of position, like I said, but I gotta do what I gotta do and so I can exchange them. I don't wanna just waste them. I love that side linebacker. We got Von Miller. I obviously want Khalil Mack there, but the issue is Khalil Mack has a kickoff card that goes for way too much money. And I'm just not spending that kind of money on a on a Von, on a, what's called the Khalil Mack that's literally no better than this Von Miller. So I rock with Von Miller for now. I kind of want to power him up. Maybe I'll keep him for the year. I don't really know what I'm doing on an outside linebacker yet. The way I run my team though, I always have Lawrence Taylor rushing and Von Miller's typically in coverage. So I think what's best for my team might be to actually get a coverage off that side linebacker, like a late man rush or something. So I really gotta look into that guys to see what I can do with that. Comment down below your opinions on that. At middle linebacker, we got, let's see, let's see, we got Shazier and Devin White. So Shazier, obviously my free captain. He's a monster. He's fast, he can hit, he can play zone. He's a good play record, tackle with acceleration. And Devin White, he's my user. 88 speed, 92 tackle, 85 play rec, 89 hit power. This card's a monster. I love this Devin White card. So my linebackers are pretty stacked. And then right outside, we obviously got the GOAT, Lawrence Taylor. 891 overall, stacked card, can pass rush, can run stuff, can tackle, he's fast, good excel. He's gonna be there all year. You don't have to comment on him. We already know. Now my my cornerbacks are very insane. So I got Jalen Ramsey, Willie Brown, Gilmore, and Deion Sanders. So the odd man out right now is Gilmore right now because all these guys are all threshold coverage guys. And then obviously Deion Sanders, you can't. You have to have Deion in there. He's too fast, too athletic, and he's good at man, which I do a lot of. So at the time being, Gilmore's kind of out with his speed being too low. I'm hoping that I can either I'm having him at like cornerback four right now. I'll probably put him, or what I'll end up doing is I'll put him into like an 89 exchange set next series for like a 90 overall or something like that. Or 90 exchange set for 91, 92. But I'll see when the time comes for that. And free safety, let's say we got Brian Dawkins. Obviously, I wish I had the full one or I had another free safety. But his stats are adequate enough and good enough to really validate him as my free safety. But I do want a full card at free safety at some point. Whether I'm kind of waiting for Sean Taylor. I feel like he's done and definitely be coming out in the near future. And last but not least, at trunk safety, we got Pat Tillman. Most of you guys should be getting near him at this point. 98 play rec, 97 tackle, 90 zone cover, 93 hit power, 91 speed, 81 excel, 95 pursuit. This card is an absolute monster. I don't really have to speak too much on him. Now, let's head on over to the lounge to see them as a whole and see the holes as you guys can see them. I personally think a hole in my team is the tackles and the wide receivers. My wide receivers obviously could be a lot better. If I increase that, my team would be a lot better, but I really don't have wide receivers I like just yet. My tackles, obviously, could be a little bit better. I don't know why I haven't bought any wide receivers this year. I literally haven't bought any. Torrey Holt was free. Tyreek Hill, I pulled out of my uh, first pack opening. DeAndre Hopkins, I pulled out of a nap pack uh, from Solo Challenges. And Randy Moss is training. I've actually not bought a single full wide receiver card this entire year, which I find pretty crazy. And then on defense, the only changes I really want to make here is free safety. Pretty much free safety. On defense, free safety, and that's about it for the time being. And then on offense, I need, I need to definitely work on my wide receivers. Maybe it's time I finally start buying some. Because with the way my, my, my wide receivers definitely do struggle a little bit. They don't have, none of them really have OP stats. Although, Brandy Moss is really good. He's not like overpowered at this moment, because it's not the full one, obviously. And Torrey Holt's good, but again, he doesn't feel too overpowered anymore either. Speed's great and all, but he's not the most overpowered wide receiver either. But guys, that is about it for the video. As you guys can see, make sure you comment down below what I should be doing with my team. I do feel as though, like I said, only my wide receivers and tackles need work. I do want to switch up my center. I love my running back and quarterback duo. I'm a big fan of this, this trio right here. Saquon, Mark Sound, and uh, Lamar Jackson. They're awesome. No problems there. Going to probably put Kittle in over Greg Olson at some point. And like I said, defensively, I love my defense right now. The only thing I really need to change is probably free safety. And that's really it. Maybe maybe some better defensive tackles at some point. But I'm kind of this is what I'm rocking with for the time being. And this Pat Tillman was obviously huge. I did, I did uh, put abilities on Pat Tillman, and I did put abilities on Saquon Barkley. Obviously, I couldn't not put them on Saquon. Saquon's got some really good abilities too. He's got evasive leapfrog and uh, indoor baller. Although leapfrog, I haven't really tried it out too much yet. It was probably much more of a cool thing to have, not so much that'll actually help you. I'm gonna test it out. If not, I'll take it off him at some point. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. You saw the lineup. Now you gotta stay around to see all the videos that come with it. And if you haven't already, guys, comment down below. Give your feedback on the team, what I should be doing. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 150 likes. And also, turn on that noti bell, guys. Be notified every time I post brand new videos just like this one. And stay tuned for the rest of today's content and my videos for Sunday tomorrow, which I should have pre-recorded today for tomorrow so I can watch the games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.